morning guys welcome back to today's video my hair is looking rough i think it's the shampoo that i've been using i switched shampoos but anyway welcome back to today's video oh man i have a walk down at memory lane for you guys i'm in gabby's room we're getting freshened up here we're cleaning out our closet you guys so this is a pile of things that gabby doesn't wear anymore and we're gonna get rid of them and it's so sad and wait till i show you so there's the Arion hoodie. And Do, you're not a fan of yellow on you? Yeah. Uh, there's Gabby's red polo shirt. This is her red polo shirt, you guys. It's the shirt that she got when she got Storm. It's when she went through that red phase so she could match him. Oh my gosh, I love that. You guys might not know, but Gabby went through this stage. Well, actually, she liked polo shirts and she rode in one every single time she rode. And then she started matching them with her saddle pads and sam and i went sam especially went on this crusade to get her every color of polo shirt that you could get so that she could match saddle pads and she's getting rid of all of them in fact we did get rid of most of them already but she had 44 of them these are the only ones left all her base layers you guys didn't even see this one but somebody sent us this one it's a ralph lauren one it was when Gabby was going through her, her red stage and she never wore it. More polos in different colors. And then she literally has a hundred base layers, you guys. Do you guys remember all these base layers? I found a bunch of show shirts that the girls don't wear. Um, then I'm going to try for Brooklyn. This is a tailored sportsman that a friend sent us. And I'm going to try that on Brooklyn. More base layers more base layers like every color of base layer that you can imagine purple her equestrian forever shirt <laughs> just makes me so sad literally everything in her closet yeah. is gone she I'm keeps all of her clothes <laughs> she keeps all of her clothes on the chair in her room she's just keeping this hunter shirt though but there's another shirt i wanted to show oh, you yeah, that I'm she's keeping Long ago, a fan sent us. This is our first, like, kind of merchy kind of uh, shirt. And it says Stormy Night. And Gabby, what did you do? What did you jump on this? An oxer. She jumped her first oxer in this shirt. So we are keeping it. It's time to say goodbye to Gabby, the young equestrian. And hello to Gabby, the 16-year-old. But anyway, I'm going to get rid of all of these. Find a home for most of them. This makes me really sad. Sophie actually did get a lot of, it, of stuff from Gabby. Gabby got this a couple years ago for Christmas. It's one of her Lemieux uh, jackets. It's her Lemieux jacket. I loved this. It was when she went through her green stage. Sophie loves it. Oh, she's going to have it. So you get it in the same size. She loves how... She, I love close it fit tight too and hold you in. This is a size medium. Anyway, now Sophie's going to have it. I stole all her crop tops. Stole all her shirts. I also stole this one. And she loves that one. Do you guys remember when Gabby used to wear this all the time? In a recent vlog, I talked about how can um, show shirts be other than white. And we actually do have a pink one. We never used it. We got this from Brandon. <laughs> Gabby also has these carrot breeches. She never, ever wore them. I love them. They're so nice. They're full. See, I think they were Sophie's, to be honest. And... We're saying, we're saying goodbye to those. But you know what's extra sad? You guessed it. Give us to Sophie. She'll fit them. These are all... Yeah, these... Those she might. medium. Yeah, Sophie fits in a medium often. Um, these are all Gabby's Lumu base layers. Remember when she went through the red stage? Oh, the black one's nice. The, all right, we're keeping the black one then. Like, I don't know that she'll ever wear it again, but the like black one is nice. How they feel. I know. She doesn't like how they feel. And I agree with that. Like, they're a weird feeling. And then, you guys remember this one? She got it for Easter one year, and she wore that, that thing all the time. So the matching saddle pads. Yeah, we have matching saddle pads to all these base layers. Saying goodbye to them. So, uh, this is the status of my garden. It's ready to go. We actually put like a bunch of more soil in here, a bunch of like fertilizer. <laughs> and it's ready to go, but it's gonna be cold the next couple of days, so I don't wanna plant yet. 
I am waiting. Horses are all down there eating still. Here is the status of my finger. I have, it's all bruised and it's all swollen and I have that blister. I found this cleaning Gabby's closet. She kept it in her closet in a backpack. But what it is, is her Devaku leather bomb, her grooming glove, and her conditioner. Oh, this is her soap. So this is the soap and that's the leather bomb. And honestly, in terms of quality, Devaku is my favorite brand ever. Like I loved how amazing they were to work with. I love their products are like our CWD soap and stuff that we got with our saddle to clean it and keep it in good shape not doesn't even compare to the stuff that we got from Devaku. like i used the Devaku stuff on sophie's saddle when we first got it because it's so superior anyway i'm going to leave it down here for gabby this is the leather bomb and i've considered buying more of this this came with her saddle i think we got it for free we got a lot of stuff for free when we ordered through Devaku. it was incredible whoa so that's like how much she has left. And this stuff is literally the best. I literally thought this stuff was gone forever. So I saw on TikTok recently, uh, in some of our videos, people are like, your horse is lame, you're riding lame horses, blah, blah, blah. And also that Storm is really skinny and that we made him skinny. He's been home little more than a week and we're doing everything we can to help him muscle up. So on TikTok today, I saw a few comments of people saying that Storm is lame. I had our vet look at him and he's not lame at all. And I tried to explain that in our videos. I think the problem comes when it's like people on TikTok where I'm just showing little tiny clips and they're not watching the whole video. Right now we're figuring out saddles for Storm and I showed you guys him riding in the Western saddle. I don't think that the saddle pad is working for him. I know the saddle fits okay right now at where he is with no muscle and I know that that's going to change really quickly and he's going to need a new saddle but you can't buy a saddle for a horse until the horse is like the right weight that it's going to be and until it has the muscle it's going to have. Be nice to her. She knows that you're the boss of her storm. Stop pushing her off. She's okay. He thinks he's going in for lunch. I do not know where Gracie is. She's, she's, look at how good she is. Look at what a smart baby she is. She handled you just fine, didn't she? Anyways, so I had, so I have a friend, a really close friend that is a vet. I have a friend who is a vet, an equine vet, you guys. And she helps me with this every single thing, every time I have a question. So she thinks that it's definitely the saddle pad. I'll show you. Okay, before I show you the saddle pad, I gotta check Gracie. My mind always tells me the worst case scenario and if she's not with this baby, there's a problem. Oh, she's here. <laughs> she's, <laughs> oh my gosh. Now she's telling him, how dare you go near my baby? Okay, it's okay. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why she, her baby is so far from her. It's good though. She had a drink of water and now she's having some salt. <sighs> so Storm, if any of you guys are wondering, Storm is absolutely trying to take over the herd. That's what he's in the process of doing the last couple of days. It's not been bad. Some of you guys might remember he was never, he was not always a great leader. He's kind of aggressive in his, in his, in his ways. He's not the leader that, like Chino's like a quiet leader. Penny's a quiet leader. We think the saddle fits. We're just in the process of figuring it out. We don't put a, a saddle on him and say, hey, this is what you're gonna have. Let's ride in it. All the riding we've done so far has been minutes to assess tack and how he's doing. So I took video in him and he's not moving out completely but then I wrote but then Gabby rode him which you guys didn't see in her saddle and he definitely moved moved better Did your dog get shocked by the fence? I don't think my dog got shocked by the fence so open the door and there's a scared little Lily which door the front door oh she was up at the house yes oh why there was a scared little Lily she was like ah. I know it's been a busy day I've been cleaning out okay. Sophie Gabby's closet and, and she's I stole all her clothes she's not welcome in Gabby's room Gabby's rules. 
So she's kind of been on her own. Sam was away. No one's welcoming Gabby's room. I know. Let's be real. Okay. So my saddle pad is so thick. Like it is so thick, you guys. Definitely it's changing the fit. This is what we think because this does fit him so well. Whoa. This does fit him so well without a saddle pad on. So today we're going to try another saddle pad. So I don't think that one's going to be better. All right. So the only, yeah. Literally, we have too many saddles, and then I don't like to put them on top of each other because it's not good for them. I think it's just as thick, but it has the wither relief up here. So we're gonna try this one, but I don't know. I think that this- one won't fit. Gabby, Sophie doesn't think this one will fit. The only reason I wanna try different saddle pads is because I need to figure this out, and I show you guys the journey because it's in other people's journeys that you learn the bits and pieces of your own journey. So I share the journey. Social media has conditioned people to only show perfection and and things that look nice. No horses with, that brought out of the field only after they're groomed. And I think it's super misleading and it's super unfortunate. And I think it's, it's not who we are. We just show uh, the whole journey. We are just always gonna show the whole, whole journey. People can say what they want. It, it's just a fact of life. Even if you just show perfection, people will still have things to say. So, especially if you do it differently than they do. And you know in horses, things are always different people do it differently but anyways that's the goal today I know I want to ride but I just don't feel like riding now he turned his head slow then turned his head slowly back and then spun slowly like a snail he kind of he's slower than a snail are you slower than a snail he's our snail though and I know I don't have to explain it to you guys. So when we were showing you guys the footage the other day, you could see that when he would like turn corners and stuff, he would kind of do it in a way where it seemed like he was not liking something in the saddle. And I'm pretty sure it is the saddle pad. But when Gabby rode him in her English saddle at the same time, like a few minutes after, um, I didn't show you guys because she didn't have a helmet on because we just threw it on him and tried him for like two seconds. I can... I believe in helmets. I think everybody should wear a helmet. I think people should do what they feel comfortable with. I'm not here to like choose for somebody else what they should do, but we wear helmets. So I didn't share it because I don't want some young kid to say, oh, Gabby didn't wear a helmet and then not wear a helmet and then get hurt. We wear helmets, but she did ride them. Two more years, then I could say no. <laughs> and would you say no? No, we're helmet people. I mean, today we're gonna figure out saddle pads. We're gonna figure out some stuff. I also saw a comment where someone was talking about how he's been a lesson horse for years and years and that he, oh, and that he uh, needs time to rest. And the truth is, is that he's been a lesson horse for a year and a half and the whole last winter he was ridden two times a week by young kids. Definitely not overtaxed, definitely not overridden. So our job is primarily to build him up. But right now we're still working on saddle fit. And so that was cute. See if she'll do it again. She was, had her whole body up against Gabby and she was staring up at her face. Like, why are you, yeah. Like, why are you holding me? You're not my girl. <laughs> I just also want to say that we've been getting so much amazing advice from you guys, especially like people who are coming from like the Western world. And we appreciate it so much. Like I've been reading everything that people have been saying to be helpful and storing it in my brain for when it's time. We're probably gonna have the trainer come next week. We just want a little bit of time to figure out our tack so that she can see what, we're, what we think works. All right, so she doesn't fit this saddle as well. The other saddle fit her better. It's more better in this. Yeah, I think he looks a little better. But when I take video and I watch it back after, I can tell like better. And then I also send it to my friend so she can watch it. She finds rocks and then Gabby tells her to bring them and she brings them, like she digs them out and then she brings them. See, a... look, she just dug out a rock. No, that's, she buried it. Don't bury them in there. No, she's All right, so that saddle is a hard no for both him and for her. It's so funny, whenever I look over there and she's just staring at me, it just makes my heart so happy. Is it broken? Never get it started, so. You can never get it started? No. Are you gonna clean it? I'm gonna clean it, sell it, buy a new one. Do you guys remember when Storm 
did this to his tail. He's always done this with his tail. Oh my gosh. You know why it is? It's because right underneath this section, he gets like dirt stuck up in there. Not the kind of dirt you want to hear about. I know, it's the thing that bonds him and I. He's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> We're trying lots of different variations. Yours doesn't have that. Oh. Oh, so see, she's saying that because mine is so small up here, it fits better. And that might no. be... This fits fine, except for this part, my legs jab into it. Yeah. Well, and you... that part, my legs don't. Yeah, I know, I love my saddle. So we're gonna try Sophie's so saddle. Just bring him down there, because the girth... Yeah, we have everything have down, there. down there. So essentially, he's ridden in this saddle a million times when he's Red built one up, one. and he's big. And Gabby's jumped him like three feet in this saddle. So uh, this is her jumping over a bunch of tires in Sophie's saddle. Honey went to me today. She's looking for love. Yeah. Her mom's abandoned her. Maybe her mom's going. Her mom's like right beside her the whole way. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, she came in the barn all by herself. Her mom was way at the back. And she came in with Storm. Her oh. and Storm were together. So one thing that I love that Ellie does is she stakes her claim. She often like comes and sits on my feet. Scared about um, showing me riding without a helmet. Cause right here there's me riding without a helmet. <laughs> <gasps> it's Again. not that I'm scared to show it. It's just that I honestly. Riding storm. Like I got a message. I got like, I get messages every week, Gabby, of people. And Chino. Listen, I get messages. Those are just for photographs. I get messages every week from people, every week from people, from it's kids cute. saying, can you please tell Gabby that I look up to her? She inspires me and I don't want to like, show you riding without a helmet the ear bonnet? this oh, ear bonnet is stunning and a, a company made it for sophie Here's they're called you. equus e-q-u-u-i-s oh, equus no e-q-u-u-s underscore bonnets i think that's their instagram anyway message me on instagram if you want to get a bonnet like this a lot of people buy them and use them for like barns they all have like the barn logo and everybody at the good? show in their barn, like you can tell who they are because they all have the same bonnets. In the past, Storm has not loved bonnets. And I don't know that green is his color. This is not like a paid promotion or anything, but I can see the sparkles in Storm's bonnet from here. If you like blingy stuff and you get to choose to make it look however you want and she has different styles. So you can choose this style or you can choose like the more square style. You got a smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love Cause you Once you 
so now it's all cleaned up. It's like a little office for you, like a little man cave. Yeah, half of a man cave. <laughs> So I uh, got everything straightened away. I need to clean that blanket. Like the barn dust just grows here. But anyways, I got everything kind of has a place, sort of. It's looking better. We have too much stuff for this barn now. Like that's the biggest mistake that we made is getting too much stuff. So basically the jumps need to go and I have a spot for them. I just have to take them there. But the most terrifying job in this whole clean the barn, barn endeavor is going to be cleaning this. Like I'm terrified of this. Literally the most terrifying because we, I want to divide it so that we have like a spot to hang girths. In fact, I'd rather have a different place to hang girths because we use different girths all the time. Like Storm's in a 50 right now and he usually wears a 52 or a 54. So we change them up all the time. And then I want some place to hang bridles and things like, these are our colored reins and I love them and I never want to sell them because they're going to be so good for my grandkids one day, but I need space for them. Like then the saddle pads hang over top of all that space. So we end up putting most of our stuff on this side. I also want Sophie to start putting her boots in this boot bag. Come on Ellie, let's go. But honestly, cleaning this barn has been like such a labor of love. Enjoy having things nice and clean. And just like with Gabby's bedroom, come on Ellie, come on. And just like with Gabby's bedroom today, there are so many things that I love and I just don't want to get rid of. Like I can't bear to get rid of them. But just like with Gabby's bedroom, I am going to get rid of stuff because we need it. We need the space. Don't you know that you're beautiful?